Now, each week on this BBC London boxing show, the emails and texts come in from Dublin, Tipperary, Galway, Cork and other Irish cities and towns. So my next guest is an Irish fighter, a real one, not a cockney with a shamrock tattoo. It's a delight to welcome O'Shane Fagan on the show. He's very much part of an increasingly busy pro boxing scene in Ireland. And that is what I asked him about first. In fact, I think it was a record last year for the amount of shows that were put on, Steve. Uh, Brian Peters is a good man for, for promoting stuff over there. And, of course, my, my, my uh, promotion team is uh, Dolph Phil Promotion. Sure. And they're really, really good as well. So, But this fight particularly, uh, this fight for my, my Irish title, look, I'm delighted to be offered this fight. Uh, Andy Murray, of course, he's a, he's a great champion and uh, he's a very nice kid as well. I'm beaten. Uh, He's unbeaten, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're sure, I'm used to that at this stage. Yeah, you are. Yeah. These boys, you know. Uh, but it'll be all business come 5th February 13th, and he's got got something I want back. Like I was the Irish champ in 2007, but I relinquished the belt to uh, so he could fight against James Gorman while I fought for the USBA belt in yeah. America, as I wanted to get a world rank back then. And uh, but I got I got uh, I got robbed on a split decision in uh, at the at the hands of a hometown hero in Verkwan Kimbrough. Yeah. Uh, so I lost my Irish title. I've never lost my Irish title in, in the, the ring. ring. So I'm hoping to recapture it come fight night, you know. Yeah, that's an interesting point in that part of your life when you're over in America. Because cause, cause Kimbrough, Verkwan Kimbrough, he was a, you know, a, topper, a proper world-ranked fighter. You got, you got clearly stitched up, split yeah. split, split decision. Um, but you, you carried on fighting in America at that time, didn't you? Did you hear that? No? <laughs> so, you, so there's no record of it? No record at all, no. no not except, except for the... the the pundits after writing the reports on it, and they said that I, I absolutely murdered them. But uh, they, they, uh, they, they just lost the tape. It was crazy. And let, let's clear up what happened when you fought Amir Khan. Because I know I did it on my Satanta show, but I've never done it on the B, on BBC Radio. You, you suffered an injury in that fight, didn't you? Oh yeah, the very, the very first round, like I, I, I broke my leg. Like uh, he hit me with a nice hook, but it wouldn't have been something that would, uh, would put me down normally, you know, because I, I don't go down. No, normally, of course you know? not. Um, but. Uh, I uh, everyone thought I was a finished fighter when when I but I broke my leg against him. You know, like I, I, he hit me a nice hook. I went down. I went over on my ankle. I heard a, a sickening crack, and uh, I knew it was broken at that stage. But I got back up now to fight, yeah, which was probably silly, you know. But like at the same time, there were so many people over to watch me and all, and and it was live on 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 the TV and all, and I was big I was, fight. Uh, it was a bit, it was it was a really big fight, you know. But. It was. Uh, uh, I was disgusted with it. I, was, I still have nightmares of it, to be honest with you. You, you boxed Eddie Highland uh, in, yeah. in Dublin last year. That's a crack, cracking event there. That was for some sort of vi- vacant IBF. But vacant a, a IBS, terrific 12-round yeah. fight. All part of this sort of Irish boxing movement that took place last year. Yeah, actually, I, I won the fight of the year for that for that fight. Yeah, uh, I heard that. It was just last week, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and there was a nice, nice fight, uh, uh, but it was on a... Highland promoted show, so mm. like again, like just going into other people's backyards to fight, you know. But yeah, at the same time, Eddie's a, Eddie's a good fella, and, and actually, is. all the Highlands are really good lads. They they get on very people. well with them, you know. But uh, like that's that's just what you have to put up with when you're when you're the the outsider coming in, you know. Okay, so let's look for it's Fe- February thirteenth, the National Stadium in Dublin. Let me just tell my listeners that it's the only purpose-built active boxing arena in the world there used to be one in britain and all the shot now there's only one arena in the entire world that was built for boxing where boxing takes place that's the national stadium dublin that's where you're fighting andy murray 30 seconds O'Shea. tell me what's going to happen uh that's, that's the mecca now obviously like he, he's the i expect andy to do some great things in the future for irish boxing but he's a young fella and he can he can afford a glitch on his record come February <laughs> tour and um, you're going to be the glitch well, I should be the glitch. That's what I'm hoping <laughs> for, anyway. You know, oh. uh, and to be honest, all the pressure's on Andy. All all eyes be on him because he's the unbeaten fighter. Sure. It's live on RTE, which is our national station, and yeah. it'll be widely watched throughout the country. Like, uh, he he's the one with the unbeaten record, but he's not been in the ring with some some of the champions I've taken on, and I've been and I'm very determined uh, on being the first the first man to make him face defeat. You know. Then we can have a rematch. Yeah. Uh, well. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> That's uh, where the money is. Huh? That's where the money is. Oh, Shane, listen, thanks for spending a bit of time with us today. Right, Great show. Thanks. See, see you, it. boss man. I'll talk to you soon. See you. You will indeed. I'll see you very soon. God bless. Bye.